Let's bring up the speed on what's happening with the hurricane itself, folks. Number one, a couple of things are happening. Yesterday at this time, the winds were at 155 miles per hour. By comparison, the winds are now down to 130 miles per hour. Still a very strong Category 4 storm, but it does appear that the main core of the hurricane force winds uh, will remain offshore, well offshore of the big island right now. Here's where the eye wall is. As you'll notice, the eye wall is becoming a little muddled. In other words, it's starting to fill in a little bit. That's an indication that there are adverse winds in the atmosphere interacting with the hurricane, and that will allow it to continue to weaken. However, the bad news is that the tropical storm force winds extend outward 140 miles from the center of the storm, so heavy rain bands with tropical storm force winds already lashing the southern island out here and all of these big heavy rain bands could bring the greatest concern which will be torrential rainfalls the possibility of landslides and flash flooding will be a big concern so there it is moving to the northwest now at six miles per hour please note what happens with the intensity of the storm and also note the hard left hand turn the hurricane is expected to make here within the next 36 to 48 hours that is an indication that there's going to be a shift in the upper level patterns that will begin to push the storm away from the northern islands. All depending on where this turn occurs will determine how much the northern and central islands will get, but it's going to be very, very close. Still, the concern is going to be the following. The torrential rains, flash flooding, landslides, 10 to 20 inches easily, up to 30 inches of rain possible. And another thing is the coastal erosion, the battering waves hitting the southern and western facing shorelines with a storm surge being generated by the tropical storm force winds of two to four feet above sea level. That means, guys, that we will see the ocean elevating two to four feet above its normal levels in the days to come as the wind begins to pile up against the coastline. It's going to be bad, but it is not going to be anything compared to what Puerto Rico had to deal with with Hurricane Maria. Nothing like that. We'll have much more on our local forecast coming up in just a few. Here's Brent.